What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to a whip of this. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, I review them, give my first impressions. And today we're gonna be checking out none other than Mancera. This is my first house from Mancera. And this is Cedret Boise. I think that's how you say it, Cedret Boise. All right, so I got the box right here. If you're wondering why I got gloves on, cause this one's actually pretty dirty as you can kind of tell, there's a lot of dirt on this one. I was like, eh, it feels like one of those old Amazon boxes. I didn't get this off of Amazon. I actually got this from Fragrance Net. It cost me about right under $100, like literally $99. It was free shipping. Uh, I did see this actually on Gift Express for pretty cheap. In fact, I have another fragrance coming from Gift Express really soon. It's a Versace one. I can't wait for y'all to check it out. You can get this discounted for about $70, $75 with tax. Um, the highest or the retail price for this is actually $180. So it is a higher tier, upper tier type of fragrance. I've never had a, any fragrance. I've never smelled a single fragrance from the House of Mancera. So I'm very excited for this to be my first one. I've heard honestly nothing but good things about this one. Well, almost good things. I've heard a couple or seen a couple reviews, not even really reviews, but really like first sniffs and first impressions where some women, there is some chemical in there that kind of people don't like. I think it was like the tobacco or something in there that they weren't really a fan of. And that makes sense if you're not really someone who likes to be around someone who smokes. And most people don't want to be around someone who smokes, but I'm excited to check this one out. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, got the knife on deck. Oh, cut a little deep on that one. That one cut pretty deep. Also, I was watching Andrea or Curly Sense. I was watching one of her videos on it. And what was interesting about Cedric Boise was that a lot of like lighter colored people uh, they didn't really, they liked the Parfums and Marley uh, Sedley more. And I actually don't have Parfums and Marley in my house either. I've got to get that one in my house really soon. But it was interesting because I don't like to really put judgment on any fragrance, but obviously you watch videos and you're trying to see what other people think of the fragrance. Oh, this one's got some heft to it. I'm not even going to lie. It's got a little heft to it. Uh, let's see. As always, Fragrance Net, they finally stopped putting fingernail clippers in their box. Uh, they did give me some coupons, $50 off for some, I don't know. It says prescription youth. I don't know. They always have some extra stuff with fragrance net. I don't mind it, but it is kind of annoying. I just wish it was just the packaging, but hey, it's discounted, so you can't really complain. I did get some samples in here. It says exceptional because you are. May give this away to some lucky woman. Woo! I actually don't know. I may smell this in a little bit. I may smell this at the end of the video. And they also gave me instant erase eye serum. They must think I'm a woman or something. And I literally bought a men's cologne. That's so weird. On top of that, they gave me a HelloFresh thing. So if you guys do like HelloFresh, y'all can use that code. Whoever gets it first, you're more than welcome to have it. I don't really need it. I actually already have HelloFresh. They're pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. They have pretty amazing meals and they actually look like how it is and they're not sponsoring this video, so yeah. But there is some note in here in this fragrance that apparently is like comes off as a chemical type of way and that's why some people don't really like it. It's just interesting though, just seeing what the general public really thinks of certain fragrances where like the fragrance world is just like, yo, this smells amazing. And then you go out on the streets and you're just like, mm, I don't think everyone thinks the same. But it's not about what other people think, it's about what you think and if you actually really like the fragrance. I mean, that's really what it's about. If you like the way you smell, then don't play judgment to anyone else. I mean, if some people really don't like it, I mean, just, just wear it in the house. Just wear it in the house. Alrighty, so here is the bottle for Mancera. I'll actually take, unravel this really quick because I don't want the glare because I have these lights, so yeah. I do like the box. It's a nice black box, as you see here. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of want to see what it feels like because it has a little bit of... Okay, so yeah, it's nothing. It's not like super pattern-wise, but you can kind of see a little pattern on the box there. Nice little presentation. Eau de Parfum. This is 4 ounces or 120 milliliters for those in the metric. It also says made in France on the back here, and it looks like something's in Arabic. Um, that is pretty interesting. It does also show that the first ingredient is alcohol did not. Uh, perfume, though, is the next ingredient. So, I mean, they went straight from alcohol to perfume. And there's nothing else on the other sides, on the bottom, just the barcode. Let's go ahead and open it up. I don't know if anyone sprayed this. Like I said, we're going to spray it on paper and on skin because 
I didn't wear any cologne today. Um, whoa. I just smelled a waffle of that just out of nowhere. <laughs> like, that means someone definitely did a test spray, but check this out. Y'all, I love when fragrance companies do this with the packaging where they give you this extra little bag. This one's really nice too. Alexandria Fragrances, shout out to them, but they do this with their colognes where they have this bag. This feels like, it's not real leather. At least I don't think, it doesn't feel like real leather, but it's nice, it's almost like a leather. I can smell it from right here, just a whiff. And uh, it smells pretty good. It's almost like a cleaner. It smells very citrusy. Okay, so I can't remember if this has a magnetic cap or not. I think the cap does stay on. It's pretty snug. Um, whoever did it, it's pretty snug. It does. It's not leather. It's not leather. I thought it was. One more look at the, they do have some branding on there, the Mancera logo. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Pretty nice. Check it out though. That is the bottle. Very clean. This is the cleanest it'll probably ever be. It's already got fingerprints on it that fast. Mancera Sedgwick Boise. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, so it is magnetic. That's kind of cool. Hold on, let me get a close-up for y'all. Listen, listen, listen. That's kind of, that sounds very quality. I like that. It's a pretty, uh, I don't want to shake it too hard, but it's a pretty strong magnet. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty strong. Yeah, somebody did spray this, but let's go ahead and see here. Somebody probably was like, ooh, Mansara, such a boise. They probably were like, oh, man. All right, so we're going to spray on paper first, and then I'm going to do on skin. But, but first, I almost forgot. Let me actually let you all know the base notes on this. For the heart notes, you're going to have citrus from Sicily, black currant, and cold spices. Then the heart notes, or I'm sorry, those are the head notes. They also have heart notes was as aquatic jasmine and leaves of patchouli. And last but not least, in the base notes, we're gonna have some woody notes, leather, oak moss, and central vanilla. So this should be very interesting. I'm very curious on how this is really gonna smell. So uh, let's get it. All right, so like I said, on paper first, and then we're gonna do on skin. Here we go. Okay, maybe not nobody sprayed it. Maybe it's just that strong. Very nice atomizer. Let's sit this down. It's very fresh, almost cool on the paper. I can see why this is a summer scent. On paper, it kind of makes me think of like something in, something in Macy's, not in a bad way though. But I could see why people don't like this, especially if you smell it on paper first, you're just like, eh, I don't know. It's not bad at all. But it's not amazing on paper. Like, on paper, I feel like all I'm getting is just citrus notes. And they're not bad citrus notes. It's just citrus and, like, this manly scent. It honestly reminds me of, like, a polo type of fragrance on paper. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and spray it on skin. It's not bad on paper, though. All right, here we go. On skin, let's check it out. Oh yeah, it smells, yeah. And I'll do one over here as well. Woo! Oh wow, that's kind of crazy. Wow. Oh yeah, I smell it now. <laughs> it's always just mind blowing every time. I it You smell it on paper and you're like, I don't know how this is gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. Then I smelled it on my skin and instantly a huge difference. I smell, first of all, I smell lemon. It smells like almost like a lemon cleaner. Like it actually smells kind of like uh, the wood cleaner when you like the wood shiner. That's kind of what it reminds me of. But then I also get these like, it's almost like a tree note in a sense. Like I'm trying to, what were the notes one more time? Let me look at the notes again. It may be the jasmine and patchouli. That's probably what it honestly is. Yeah, I don't get the I don't get the woody notes yet right now. All I'm getting right now, for the most part right now, I'm getting just citrus and this nice it's just fresh. It smells really good. 
And in fact, I'll come back to you all in like probably 10 minutes or so. I just want to see what it smells like once it dries down. Give me a sec. Okay, so it's been about like 10, 15 minutes now. And I must say, it's gotten better. It has actually gotten better. I think right now I'm going to give this right off the bat 7.5 out of 10. At 10 being the highest, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I feel like this definitely has a lot of potential to be really good. My only problem right now is that I'm trying to figure out who this fragrance could be for. So it's not bad at all. It definitely seems like it could be year round. It seems like it's going to be great in the summertime and I can't wait to wear it when it gets like 80 degrees in Virginia because it's just going to, it's going to illuminate those citrus scents. I will say I'm starting to smell more in the dry down now. I'm starting to smell more of the oak moss. Um, what else was in here? I'm really starting to smell more like the more woodier notes like the sandalwood. And I'm actually starting to get some more of the leather. And as soon as I looked at it, at the notes, I was like, oh yeah, I do smell the leather now. It actually smells like a leather jacket, but not the bad leather jacket. You know what it smells like? It smells like a brand new pair of like, okay, you're in the dress store and you know how you open the box? That's exactly what this smells like. But it smells like somebody had some lemon scent that walked by some lemon cleaner that walked by and they were like, they walked past you and those two smells just combined together and that's what I get right now. It's not bad, it's just something that I've not smelt before in a combination like this. Leather with a lemon note is so interesting. Two L's, leather and lemon. Um, it's not bad, it's actually starting to really grow on me and I, I'm gonna wear it tomorrow to see what people think and we'll see if I even get a compliment, but the job I'm at now is hard to get compliments just because of where I work. But it does smell good now. I think, I'm gonna give it, in fact, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 just because of the dry downs really nice. I think the opening was just throwing me for like a loop because I'm just like, what in the world is this scent? It smells like cleaner. It smells masculine for sure. So I, I could never see really a woman wearing this. I think it would be really interesting seeing a woman wear this. I don't think she can't wear it, but I just think it's one of those fragrances that does, it definitely smells like more appealing for a man for sure. But if a woman wants to wear it, then wear it, go wear it. You, you know what I'm saying? Just go wear it. But on skin, this smells really good now. I'm starting to get a lot of the leather and just woody notes. And then this nice, the citrus is in the background now. The citrus is really in the opening like crazy. But now I'm starting to understand like the smell that everyone's getting. Like that smokery type of dude. I don't really get the smoker type of dude. But I definitely get the guy in a dress suit. He's in a dress suit and he just smells fresh and clean. Like he just got a new pair of leather shoes. And that's pretty much the best way I can describe it right now. I can't wait to do a full review on this in the future. I hope you all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. I've got some more fragrances coming very soon. So please, please hit the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date as soon as I release a video. And until next time, you guys, peace out.